It's been far too long, but I'm finally back with another Bakugan review. Hey everyone, it's the detective, and today I'll be taking a look at none other than the Aurelis Pyrus Feral X Gilator Ultra. This guy legit released in I think like October or November, but my target just started getting this wave of single ultras. Nonetheless, I'm really excited to get this. I believe I already had the Aquos and Aurelis version, and uh, I really wanted the Pyrus Aurelis version, so here it is. You can see the little render on the back. And of course, the rest of the wave. I've actually already purchased and reviewed the Darkest Sabra X Pyravian, so be sure to check out that video. Nonetheless, let's crack this open and take a look at what we get inside. As always, inside of the box, we get the two Baku cores, the Bakugan, and then the three cards. So I actually think that this is the first Bakugan that I've gotten, which is a Pyrus and Orlis Fusion, where Orlis is the base color. And I gotta say, seeing the orange and red being applied to that blank, you know, Orlis color scheme with that kind of pearl gold as the main plastic, and then of course the silver and the gold, it really, really works. It's a very kind of warm, uh, like a almost like a hot color scheme to a very fiery color scheme, even though Pyrus is, you know, the fire element, just adding that those Pyrus colors to Aurelis, it actually works really, really well. There isn't really much, it's really just the tail, and that's kind of it, like, that's really the only part of this Bakugan where you see the orange and red from the outside, but nonetheless, let's just roll this guy out onto a core and take a look at how he opens. This is one of my favorite Ultras from Armored Alliance, and for good reason. It just looks absolutely fantastic. You know, you can just see the core is picked up by the tail. I absolutely love how this guy looks. It's honestly just such a perfect design. You know, you have the nice thin tail, usually with Bakugan that have tails, especially since it picks it up with the tail. The tail looks really, really big and awkward, but even though kind of this first section of the tail is, you know, admittedly pretty big, just because that's where the core and the magnet is, the kind of back part of the tail is nice and thin, it's got the really cool details on the legs with that red, you know, for Gilator. And the face is honestly just one of my favorite parts. Just look at that face. It's so menacing. It's really a step up from that standard, you know, core feral design. And it really takes the word ultra to a new meaning. You know, it's not just a version of the Bakugan that can, you know, do a flip when it opens. It really is just so much more menacing than that core design. And I absolutely love it. The red and gold here looks far better than I expected, you know, it really, it really blends in with that orange again, it's very warm, it's a very warm color scheme, so to see the orange, the red, and the gold all together, it looks really, really aesthetically pleasing, at least in my opinion, but let's actually take a look at the cards that we get with Feral. So taking a look at the character card, it's 402, which is, uh, you know, right off the bat, not too good. Two diffuse, a little bit of promise right there, it uses a fist and a fire fist, but sadly, when you flip the card over, it's only 603, there's no effects, and I mean, yeah, it's too diffuse, but you're really not going up that much, and, you know, there are many Bakugan as of now, which have the base stats, you know, not even a fusion Bakugan, and they start out with, like, 600 B power, 3 damage, so, uh, yeah, it's just, I, I can't recommend it, it really sucks, a lot of fusions are bad, but this is another bad fusion, I guess. We do get the ability card from Shields of Vestroya, Pyru Spark, for three. I actually love the art on it. It looks like Cindy's X Scorpros on the front, and you get plus 300 and double strike. And then, of course, we get a Gate Trainer, and this one actually features Sabra X Pyravian in Pyrus. So for the cores, we get the Fusion, you know, plus three, and then if you're fused, plus another four, plus 150, plus one. Nothing really here looks too good, unfortunately, but... Oh well, I guess that we just kind of come to expect this with fusions at this point. So in conclusion, I think that Feral X Skeletor Ultra is an absolutely fantastic design, but it just really doesn't look good in the TCG. It's just really not impressive. If you guys have used this Bakugan in the TCG and you think that it's actually good and you've used it and it's beaten like some good decks, please let me know because there's a, there's a total chance that I'm just poorly assessing it based on my first impressions. Nonetheless, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm The Detective. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already so I can continue to do more awesome Bakugan videos every week. I'm The Detective, and I'll see you in the next one.